Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticom bringing you another Gears 5 tutorial. Now this one is on weapons lockers. I've had some questions from people about them, so this tutorial will give you a full body weapon locker, top to bottom, cavity, tutorial fill on how they work and everything else that we know about them. So you could say weapon lockers could be arguably the best ally to have in Horde. Simply said, you just put your weapon on an available slot on the locker and come back a short while later and, and boom, just like magic, it's full again. Yay! If only we had more things with lockers in our lives. Excluding pistols and the Talon, weapons lockers refill the ammo on all of your guns, power weapons, and now also included new to Gears 5, da da da, -da Warden Maces. Yes, it refills those two as well as the Lancer GL rounds. So make sure to build lots of lockers for all of your fellow Gears mates on your runs. Now, like with all fortifications, weapons lockers start at level one and can be upgraded up to level four with one additional weapon slot available on each level it is upgraded to. Now, one of the best skills to have with weapons lockers you build is the overclocked locker skill card. The higher the level this skill card is, the faster your ammunition regenerates on all of the weapons placed into the locker. And the faster your ammo regenerates, the more killing gets done, and the more killing that gets done, the happier everybody is, right? So please level up the overclocked locker skill card and always bring it whenever possible to all of your Gears Brawls. Let's talk about destruction. If your lockers get destroyed during a wave, you can now repair by repurchase your lockers back before the next wave begins at the exact same spot they got wrecked at for super cheap rather than paying full price and rehauling a brand new one across the map from the fabricator. Ah, oh, so convenient. Thanks, TC. Now, there is a guarantee foolproof way to stop your lockers from getting destroyed from enemies or bosses like wardens and matriarchs. You can glitch protect them into a wall or part of the environment. Simply just pick it up by pressing down on the right analog stick or R3 and drop it down into a wall or the environment as mentioned while it's glowing red. Now that it's glowing red instead of blue, it's 100% safe and it can't get damaged, wrecked or destroyed. However, while it's glitched, it doesn't refill the ammo on your weapons and of course you can't really use it. As soon as you're ready to use the locker again, just grab it hitting your right analog stick or R3 and place it back down while it's glowing blue as it was before you glitched it into the environment and it goes back to normal. Now there is one thing you don't want to do unless you want to deliberately lose your weapon. If you try and put a partial or empty weapon over the exact same weapon that is on the locker slot, in this case two overkills, they will both combine into one and yep that's right, kiss it goodbye because you just burnt two weapons into one weapon. <sighs> but, but, no, thanks, TC. Now, the very worst thing that can happen to your lockers in your game is if everyone dies on a wave. Because if everyone wipes, all of your sword weapons you had on your lockers are removed. Yes, they are completely gone. Even if they are on safe, glitched lockers, they are still gone. TC, why? That's straight up Dark Souls punishment brought into Horde, man. Praise the sun, fellow Dark Soulers. Yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, no, not this time. But with that, uh, now that you have all the combinations on how to use weapon lockers, I hope this tutorial spreads some knowledge and helps clear up some questions. And as always, enjoy it, everybody. Thank you.